My wife is out of town. She was kind of hoping this was going to be the time that I was going to actually patch the wall. Well, she's going to be home in about three hours. Sometimes you got to just throw caution to the wind. I've made a nice little California patch and I have some five minute mud that I picked up from the Home Depot. I've never worked with this five minute mud, but what I'm hoping here is that this stuff is going to dry super quick. I can get the two coats on and finish the patch before my wife gets home. So with the California patch, the best bet is to make it ahead of time, make it slightly bigger than the hole. To make the patch, you basically cut it to size from the front. You want about an inch and a quarter of paper overlapping. So cut it to size from the front of the board, snap it off. No, you have to flip the patch over, mark it out, cut it from the back side, snap it. It peels off surprisingly easy. You just peel the drywall off and it'll leave the paper behind. Yeah, so take the oversized patch, get it into the area. Looks pretty good there. And then just mark it out with a pencil. So when I made the mark for the patch, I made sure that it was a little bit bigger than this drywall chunk on the back here. You want to allow a little bit of room, like a sixteenth, eighth of an inch, for the mud to get in there. That's going to glue the patch into place and make it a lot more durable. So now when it comes to cutting this out, you can absolutely use a utility knife. But if you have a multi-tool, this is a sweet little use for a multi-tool. So take a felt pen, measure down, the drywall is half inch thick. We'll go five eighths, make a little mark on there. And then I'll take some painter's tape. So we've got the little gauge on here. It's five eighths deep. So we're gonna be able to cut just past the drywall. Let's test the patch in there. Now when you're testing the patch, what you're gonna to wanna to make sure is that it's sitting flat. And then one other thing to kind of uh, worry about, if you've cut that out with a knife, probably even be more of an issue, but you just wanna make sure if there's any kind of paper flaring out that you just kind of scrape that off. You don't wanna have any, anything pushing out the paper, any kind of lumps or anything. So I don't have a lot of experience working with this five minute mud. I have watched a YouTube video on how to mix it up properly, so that's a bonus. <laughs> so let's mix this up and hope for the best. So I got that mixed up, start the clock. I got like five minutes to get this thing ready to go. So again, we're gonna take the patch out. I have a four inch knife here. Let's not get crazy. Get this nice and coated out here for the patch to sit on. Oh God, this is setting up a bit. We've got to work fast here. So we're going to get a little bit on the edge like I talked about, just to make sure it's going to bond to the, the existing drywall and you don't end up with blisters. Little tip that I learned from Vancouver Carpenter watching his video. So we've got the arrow up. We're going to shove that baby in. Nice and gooey. Take the knife, clean it off. That's the beauty of these little boxes here is you can clean the knife off super easily. And then we're gonna flatten that out. Make sure it's nice and flat. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna throw just a little bit on the edges here just to help out with the next coat. So we'll see how quickly this stuff sets up. It's 10.03, just got a text from the wife, should be home around 1 p.m. So it's been like 40 minutes. I did have the box fan going in here just to get a little air movement. This is nice and dry, which is pretty good. With the regular mud, it's probably gonna take a couple of hours, maybe even a day for that to dry out. So now if you have any lumps or ridges, you can knock it off with a knife. Just be very gentle here. And then with the sanding sponge, Take the smooth side. I like to just level it off a little bit. You don't want to get crazy here. So we're all mixed up here. Now the game plan is I'm going to slap it on with the four inch knife and then I'm going to try to feather it out, feather the edges, get it nice and smooth with the big 10 inch knife. So 
So you just want to put a little bit of pressure on the outsides, feather in the edges. So the second coat is all done. The wife's gonna be home in about an hour and a half, so we don't have a ton of time. I'm gonna put the fan back on, then we'll come back, I'll give it a sand, and we'll see where we're at. Let's give it a light sand. You're gonna to wanna to use just like a sanding sponge. This is a nice old one, the edges are already soft. So if you do end up getting a brand new sanding block, before you start sanding your patch, just take your putty knife and break the edges a bit. That way you're not gonna get a bunch of scratches in your patch. And once you think you've got this thing pretty good, just take your hand and run it along the wall. You'll be able to feel any kind of the ridges or bumps that are gonna show up through the paint. So that's all sanded up. Two coats, under two hours. I think the wife's gonna be pretty happy. She's gonna be home in about 50 minutes. We'll see if we can get a reaction from here. I'll throw that on the end of the video. Hey, and if you wanna watch the video that I was watching before I made this California patch video, just to make sure I had everything squared away, and one of my favorite YouTubers, check out this video right here. You're in for a real treat. I have a real surprise for you. Come this wow. way. Over this way. Oh. The wall's fixed. <laughs> It's only been four months, but uh, the wall's fixed. You didn't Did... think that was ever gonna happen. 